Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Super Monday Night Combat Commentary. We got ourselves a match on Loco Moco, also known as IEEG, the best map in the game. And I will be playing Carl, because one, I like to play as Carl. And two, because some ass clown in the comments on my last video said, Hey, why don't you play as Carl? So then I decided to do just that. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, as I said, I really enjoy Carl, except for whenever my team is smelly jerks, because, uh, Carl, uh, has pretty garbage mobility in, in most instances and requires a little bit of backup. Any point Carl sees two people, it's like, oh, I better, I better already be running away three minutes ago, otherwise they're gonna catch me and beat the shit out of me. Especially if there's a commando in the mix, Carl. Carl, it's a love-hate relationship with commandos, because Carl is a commando's worst nightmare and also a big tasty delicious present at the same time because he, he's easy to, ch to chase down is uh, very limited mobility in terms of running away and on the other hand uh, you get stunned as a commando by Carl not only is he gonna burst damage the shit out of you but you're gonna be susceptible to getting wrecked by the rest of his team so there's a bit of give and take and, uh, and uh, yeah, you have to be uh, really, really good with Carl. It's like a little bit lopsided where you have to be pretty proficient with Carl in order to avoid the commando issue. But if you're garbage with Carl or the commando is garbage, they can still kind of get away with it. Because all you have to do is kind of roll at you and grab you. And then uh, just start jumping around and slashing you in the head. And if you're a dummy, you're just going to get wrecked because you're not going to know what to do. Starting off the match, the Megabath is being a, a pretty obnoxious jerk as I run face first into that TNT barrel because I'm an idiot. And I have the bad uh, the bad habit of uh, shooting my handler and then immediately switching, or not shooting the handler, shooting the bouncing buddy launcher and then immediately switching to, uh, to the handler without reloading. And that leads me to have to reload a lot. Uh, just switch to the handler and then, or the, damn it, to the bouncy buddies and then have to reload. Uh, already, they're, they're uh, assassins being an annoying jerk and getting a kill. Right here, I stun him uh, after he gets pulled, which didn't do a whole lot. I was really looking to just shit all over him and do a whole lot of work, but you saw that worked. Fortunately for me, that that vet was there. I was able to prop up, and that's how you want to use uh, Carl's uh, mobility tools to escape. You're going to prop hop up into the jungle. Uh, the problem with that is that they're just going to follow you with their mobility tool. The good side about that is that if you put enough distance between you and them, they're going to have to run at you in order to get to you. And when they're doing that, most of the time, most commandos are shitheads, and they will go at you in a straight line. They forget that they're better off, uh, you know, catching you off guard, and that's how they're going to be able to kill you more successfully. And so once they got you in their sights, what they're going to do is very dumbly run straight at you, either with a lunge or just, I don't know, by running at you, just holding W. And that's going to make it easy, very easy for you to alt, uh, handle or alt fire them. It's going to make it very easy easy for you to uh, throw the bouncing buddy, or not bouncing buddy, the Carl Jr. right in their face. And it's going to make it easy to stun them. So I think I said stun them. It's going to make them easy to hit. Whenever they get really predictable, it's easy to hit them. Nothing's more difficult than hitting a massive air jumping around like an asshole uh, commando, but the moment they're just running straight at you, boy howdy does it become way easier to hit them. And also whenever they're running away because they, they usually take the, uh, the really generic route. Now right here, I, I miss with the Carl Jr. because it wasn't up on, uh, it wasn't off of cooldown yet. But I do enough damage to that, I do hit him with the handler of fire. So I get that annoying twat Megabeth out of the way. And unfortunately for her, she comes down into our territory, which uh, that was a mistake on her part. But she's going to get away because the vet is very dumbly trying to use freight train, and I do this oftentimes too, to get somebody who's trying to run away. If you're going to freight train somebody who's running away, you're going to want to time it so that you hit them while they're on the ground. Otherwise, you're better off just using your other two throws. Because if you uh, fuck up the freight train, what's going to happen is what just happened there, and you saw that. is uh, pushed him away and uh, totally negated any chance we had of taking care of business. Now right here, the combat girl is uh, Agent Fox Mulder, or whatever his name is, and he was in the guy that in my uh, Chesson video is the guy that quit as a spark, and I give him some shit at the end, but I just uh, I just thought it was pretty amusing that I got him in my match. I, I, I talked to him later in the chat after the game, and I bring it up, and he's like, yeah, I have three leaves, so that was probably one of them. And he says that his power went out, a likely story. But he's on the op opposite team, and I'm going to take out a little bit of frustration from him quitting or leaving, even regardless of it, whether or not it was invertent. And this guy, I see him chasing down our sin, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to take care of this asshole, because I'm pretty sure at this point he's got a streak going, and I'm going to end it. 
And uh, so my, I'm trying to catch up to him. I, I miss an opportunity to help uh, stun that uh, stun the assassin to take care of business and wreck her face. And right here, I'm trying to be a little bit discreet. I'm not shooting her. I don't. I want. I don't want her to be aware of my presence. So right now. I'm just kind of like playing a little bit of a hard to get. Oh, stun! And you thought you were safe to do that, but you weren't. Oh, instant tot. Yeah, boy. And th I'm a stealth. I'm a stealth, Carl. Look at that. And I'm fucking like, fucking. I don't know. Some guy who's stealthy. I'm Kevin Bacon in fucking Hollow Man. Except I'm not raping people. God damn, that movie was fucking creepy. Like, it it just took a really really hard turn into fucking just awfulville pretty immediately. Mm. I guess that was the whole point of the movie, but still, holy shit. I liked it better when Kevin Bacon was dancing and getting angry about it. With his bottle of Jack, like, oh, I can't believe they're not going to let me dance. Fuck them, I'll dance if I want to. Just gets angry with his bottle of Jack looking like an asshole. Doing a nice little trick of throwing a Carl Jr., then immediately picking up a churro. Because there's no point not throwing the Carl Jr. if you're going to get the churro. I mean, it's just, if it's just somebody stumbles upon it, they last a pretty long time. So if somebody stumbles upon it, then they're just going to get a... Uh, you get hurt, and it'll maybe goad them into not taking a specific route because they have a bunch of floating bomb jerks there. No, this guy, I'm trying to get to kill, and he's gonna, oh, he's gonna get away. I'm Right now, I'm trying to keep, I don't want to use my stun far away. I want to kind of keep it in case somebody wants to come up and do one of these things right here so I can stun, get out of here. Stun to prop hop. Probably a big stupid idea, but uh, I thought it was a, uh, you know, a good idea at the time. I just wanted, I wanted to get out. Most of the time, when commandos get stunned, they usually just kind of uh, run away, despite the fact that they may or may not have taken any damage. Just getting stunned is very jarring, and it immediately puts you in defensive mode. So that's a uh, something good to keep in mind. This this, uh, this assault's being a real annoying twat, and he keeps throwing a stupid bomb right on the uh, annihilator, so nobody can buy it. Uh, well, we can't buy it. We just gotta buy it again because he's gonna blow it up. Oh, and then I think he was dead now. Yes, he is. Aha. Now, I missed the stun, and I go for the prop hop to try to ring her out. We saw that worked. It did not. Uh, for some reason, they didn't gang up on me. I missed the handler all fire. Not really pumped about it. I figured I'd be able to handle her all fire. I'm no sweat because he was jumping in a very predictable pattern. I see that the vet's buying it. I didn't have enough money to buy it, otherwise I would have. And yeah, we get the first Annihilator. Uh, they, we got it pretty uncontested. I'm not entirely sure why nobody was really pushing to get it. Um, and maybe they were pushing their, their bots into our base to take down the turrets. But nobody seemed to be doing uh, a whole lot to uh, get it. Now, I want to kill this guy. I missed the stun, just barely. And I'm expecting him to come back over here or to go after the support, and he doesn't. So he's pro I thought I think he's running away at this point. So I go over, I start laning. Uh, we got the annihilator, but it's just a waste if we don't actually start pushing the bots back. See this guy being a real jerk, taking out our bot waves uncontested. Decided to put an end to that real quick. Now we're just playing the good. We're playing the objective. We're gonna shoot some bots, uh, and then we're going to collect some juice. Oh yeah, juice. Now I'm not even remotely afraid of this uh, just jerk. Uh, Assassin. I see that there the guy juiced and ran over here, and I didn't kind of want to do anything about it because uh, I didn't want to get myself killed. Oh, and then I get an assist with the stun. But I noticed that they were juice rushing our left side, and I wanted to keep an eye on it because if there's any moment where I could kind of stealthily sneak up and then stun them and then maybe get a kill, then I wanted to go for it. But I didn't want to just kind of like run in guns a blazing, make my presence known, and have those two people fo start focusing on me because uh, there's not a whole lot I'm going to be able to do if that's the case. And right there you can see my bad habit of not reloading my freaking uh, my bouncing buddy launcher. Now these guys are going to run in here, and since they're being really aggressive, you know what time it is? I missed the stun. Oh, and then I waste my juice because of the fucking bouncer. Yeah, try to grapple me, asshole. See what happens. Oh, I wasted my juice. God damn it. I, I was, here's my plan. I was going to stun them, handler all fire, and then uh, just wreck them with burst damage. And it was going to be glorious. I was going to kill them because I had juice, and you, you saw how well that worked. It didn't. And this guy's being annoying twat. He's wrecking our support who has doesn't have the sense to... Hop erratically and, uh, you know, oh, am I going to get the kill? Oh, I stun us both. And then I I switch to the handler to get the kill. 
Yeah, come back. Oh, and that's why I like to buy prop up to get it on a nice little cooldown. And then, oh, as I said before, he was trying to chase me. He got really predictable, and I got a handler all fire on him as he rolls straight at me. And that's how you're going to want to deal with commandos as Carl. And it's one of the reasons that I like to have prop pop on a level 2 cooldown at the le least. Oh, you're going to try to juice rush our, t our gunner? No, I don't think so. You're going to die. Get out of my face with that shit. Oh, no, she's back. Prop pop out of the way. That was kind of a waste of prop pop because uh, she could have wrecked me there if she had just been a little bit patient. And I gave her the fucking disco from a bouncing like a thousand times. I hate it. Now, I hear that uh, the uh, Wascots are Wascot. Every time! I always say that. I hear that the, uh, the mascots are up. I hear Bullseye's being a jerk. And so I go down to, I go up there to get some health back. I get the kill on the combat girl. I really wanted the kill on the Megabeth, but it wasn't in the cards. At this point, I see that I'm getting low health, and I'm just expecting just the, uh, the assassin to show up at any moment and just start ganking me. So I had an escape plan right there. But fortunately for me, we have a, ourselves a very, very findy, findy, oh my god, handy and fine, uh, not assassin, support, who uh, knows how to M1 people with blueness. Uh, is he going to get away? Get him. Shoot the stun. Oh, I missed him. That was so close. Oh, but you're gonna die. Oh, wait, why didn't the fucking dude? Why didn't the, the Carl Jr. get him? Oh, I guess I was out of range. Oh, this guy's not getting away. Carl Jr. right at him. Off, handler all fire. Oh, and he's dead. Yeah, you rampage jump all you want, son. Rampage jump is, isn't gonna stop my very tenacious little robot guy, because he's gonna wreck your face. Now it's time to play a little bit of the objective, because somehow these guys are getting away with murder. Uh, wait for it, and that's how you successfully steal a kill from a assassin. You wait for the grapple to end, then you burst damage them. Oh no! What a what a shitty shitty prop pop. I guess I thought I was in a different position, but you always would, Carl. You have to be it's just like with Gunner. You have to be incredibly aware almost all the time. Um, if you get if you if you uh, put, go on the autopilot at any moment, you're just setting yourself up for failure because you want to constantly be in a position where if you need be at any moment, you can just prop pop to safety. This guy, you're gonna buy your skills? Oh no, you're just gonna stand still. Yeah, you're dead. Don't stand still. What are you doing, dude? Understandably, you didn't know I was there, getting ready to wreck your face. But at no point is standing still ever a good idea. Anytime I've ever thought, no, no, I can stand still, I've never been able to stand still, and it's just been a bad idea. I thought about prop popping that, uh, that combat girl off the map, but I decided against it because I really wanted to, uh, I really wanted to keep my prop pop for the, uh, emergency case of having to deal with a dirt jerk assassin. And since it's on a relatively low enough cooldown, I can use it in quick succession. But I would, I would highly recommend, anytime you're playing as a commando, what a shitty uh, short circuit right there. But anytime you're playing against a commando, I would highly recommend upgrading uh, prop hop to level 2 uh, as soon as you can. As soon as it makes sense for you to do so. Carl Jr. and offense are going to be the things you're going to want to focus on. But uh, I oftentimes like to get her, uh, get her abilities to at least level 2. Because it really, really aids with cooldown. Now I think that guy saw that. I, I don't know if that guy was going to buy health. Or if he was, uh, he just got really uh, lucky because uh, I thought he was going to buy health, and so I decided to uh, to prop pop up there and stun him as he went to the Regena doll. But I, I'm just not sure if he decided to go kill our turret, or he saw me and and just ran away because he was afraid of me killing him as he bought the Regena doll. I'm, I'm guessing it's the the former of he just wanted to kill a turret because he had juicy juice and got health back, as opposed to uh, you know. Buying the Regenital and then juicing, where it'll do the same exact thing without having to waste time and money. And I get, of course, I get very successfully kited by that guy because I try to chase him down to get the kill, but his juice is going to get him the health back. I start getting slashed, and I'm the fuck out of there. Oh, you're very predictable, Mr. Dummy. So I, I'm, I'm waiting for him to come down. He comes down, but we have scramblers. I'm well aware of position. Yeah, come chase me. I'm gonna go up here. Come follow me with your. Oh uh, yeah, there's a junior there. You're gonna come this way. Uh, you're gonna eat junior. You're gonna get. Uh, come on, come on. Uh, come, come down and get me. Oh, uh, I prop up back up here. I thought he was going for the genital. And anytime a uh, a commando gets uh, but what you saw right there was me successfully kiting the assassin. I made him waste his time, and it also set up for a possible kill because if he's gonna if he's gonna come at me, is the most successful way he's gonna come at me is in a straight line. Now at this point, I'm fairly certain that the uh, the jerk is backdooring us because uh, he just ran into our base to do so, and I'm gonna let him do it because I'm fairly certain that our our turret shields are still up, so he's just gonna be killing bots. 
And I have no problem with him starving his team of bots so that they're massively under under leveled. That makes that's fine with me. If he gets over leveled, a stun is just gonna put him in his place and end his stupid streaks. I have all my abilities up. I have no problem with with spamming Carl Jr., but you're gonna want to be a little bit more clever with your uh, short circuit placement. Uh, mostly because uh, even when it's low cooldown, it's still pretty high cooldown. And uh, even if you hit somebody in a one-on-one -on -one situation, they have to be at like, I don't know, maybe three quarters health for you really to finish them off. And given, depending on how they're placing themselves on the map, that's just not going to be highly pl plausible. Like, at least in this setting where they'll be right behind the, the, the glass with their, their rocket turrets up. If they just run away, if I hit them with a Carl Jr. and they're, all, they're in red health, I'm not going to really be able to do a whole lot because because uh, Carl is a very, very short-range pro. And I don't really have a whole lot of ability to kill them from far off. So as they start running away, I'm really relying heavily on my, uh, on my teammates to... Uh, you know, take care of business and chase him down. I really wish I had my short circuit up right there because I could have helped kill that, uh, kill that Chesson. And now I'm well aware that the, uh, the assassin is right behind us. And I figured this whole time she's been, uh, backdooring us. Where are you, what are you going to do? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Throw it. Okay. Ugh. Well, I got the churro. I, I said throw it because I thought I was going to throw a, a Carl Jr. and throw another one. But you can see right there, at one point there was three enemies around me and, and I was running. I had already started running away. If I hadn't started running away, things would have got bad real quick. As Carl, you're going to want to start to retreat probably sooner than your, your teammates. You're not going to want to full retreat. You're just going to want to be on the outskirts so that if, if, if uh, they decide to uh, you know be silly goose, silly geese, that uh, you are totally out of harm's way. Now, I don't chase down this combat girl because uh, if I do that, then I'm just going to die. So I just I do a whole bunch of hurt and I get her out of there because that's that's what I wanted to do. I, I wanted to technically kill somebody. I thought about jumping down and prop hopping, which would have been something I should have done, I think. Because I could have prop hopped in a manner where I would have just went back up into the... Uh, up into the jungle without any like you know really retaliation and I might have wrung somebody out but I also wanted to keep it because they have this assassin and the assassin is no slouch I played him before the wrestlers uh, very good assassin um, especially in solo queue and team it's a little bit he plays a little bit aggressive but it's also just a pub so who gives a shit but yeah he knows what he's doing and the last thing I want to do is get caught off guard by this jerk and now he's got the sense to instead of fight me one on one that I've been doing work to him this this whole match. I don't think he's gotten he hasn't gotten a kill on me yet, and he knows that he, if he tries to get me, I'm just gonna kite him with prop hop. So at this point, he just runs away and looks for different different prey very smartly. He's the opposite of me when it comes to assassin. I'm very stupid, whereas I'll just fight whoever. But he's picking on our support, which is what he should be doing because our support is a smelly a smelly jerk. Now I see him up here fighting the support. Being all around D-bag. Come on, grapple somebody. Oh, don't buy your skills. Damn it! I was too slow on that. Don't buy your skills in front of me. Oh, what are you doing? Get out of here. Prop up. No, oh, I guess I didn't prop. I'll throw him. I'll save my prop up. Now, I jump off because I want to kill him, and I was under the impression that he was going to detonate, detonate his bomb immediately. Now, he's going to go up here. I'm going to prop up and go up here. Oh, oh, I missed him with the handler all fire. I really wanted to hit him with it, but I guess I just... I didn't... I either had my brain off, so I didn't do it in time. Or I just, I couldn't do it because of, uh, for some stupid reason, because of the uh, timing on the uh, Carl Jr. Totally missed the, uh, oh no. I go ahead and I pop my juice. I missed the prop pop, which I thought was a death sentence for me. This moment I hit that prop pop into that, that, uh, that, uh, <laughs> the anti-plat, I thought for certain I'm going to get wrecked and I'm going to die. But the assassin decides to run away and uh, probably the annihilator damage uh, helped coerce him into doing so. And that was incredibly lucky for me. That's one of those instances where I thought I was uh, I wasn't underneath it. I wanted to juice to burst the uh, to break the fucking bouncer grapple because I thought there's no way he's gonna be prepared for that. And then I'm going to get uh ah uh, fucking how could you miss that? That's exactly what I was talking about with the uh, going ahead and uh, killing him with the goddamn. I predicted where he was going and I missed. I just was a second off with the stun. But it cost me a kill. And you're going to want to keep an eye out on your regenerator machines. It's something that I don't do enough, and I think it's something that more people need to do. Is that be aware of where the regenerator machines are and keep a, a constant eye on them. Because you can lead to really, really easy kills. Because nobody goes to a regenerator machine full health and buys regenerator. They only go to buy it 
And I got no health. Oh, you're going to chase my team down? Yeah, that's not a good thing for you because that's going to happen, son. Oh, you're going to get wrecked. I'm going to get a little bit of help from the uh, jackpot, and I'm going to chase that jerk down. And right there, boom, that's two dead people, and I had a lot. I wish, I really wish that I had my goddamn stun down. And I have no idea how that, that, uh, that, uh, that assassin grappled that other assassin getting backstabbed. It, it was like immediate, but it was pretty impressive nonetheless. But I get the prop hop kill on that assassin because he was using low enough health. I decided, why not just throw all my burst damage at her? So, prop hop. And right there, boo, that guy came out of nowhere. Now, this guy, I'm stu- Son. Uh, no. No. Oh, man, what a fucking shit. I thought I had him. He was almost dead. The juice was not enough to do seal the deal. Seal deal? Yes, I told you. I sell and buy seals. God, you never listen to me. Oh, let's get some references in there. Wouldn't be a commentary unless I'd mention, reference something has no bearing on this gameplay. Anyways, go 12, 0, 15 assists, 126 bot kills. I have no idea how much money I made because I can't see the machine. And this is where I noticed that Agent Fox Motor guy is the guy that quit last time, so I'll bring it up and we're going to have a nice chat about that. That was this gameplay. Love me some Locomoco. Carl's, I think, is really good on Locomoco, as you saw with the kiting with the prop hop. He's also very good on uh, Bullet Gorge. I would say Gun Mountain as well, but not. Downtown Spunky is not one that I would say he's good on, but I'd not, I'd, I don't like Downtown Spunky. So what do you want from me? 126 bot kills and 8,600 bucks. It was a relatively quick game and a relatively cheap game. I say relatively because it was 20 minutes. But I've played games that have gone 30 or 40, and I was pretty surprised at how quick, quickly this game was over, considering they have a lot of people I played with before who are I'm aware of that are quite talented. So I figured this is going to be, uh, I mean, it was a pretty close game. It was much closer than a stomp. It wasn't over in like 10 minutes. But I, it, was, it wasn't as close a game as I thought it was going to be, and I guess that's because me and Siltskins did some work. So that was this gameplay uh, commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time.